you see people bring up toxic masculinity, and pro- a lot of times people bring it up because they just hate masculinity. So they say, you know, all masculinity is toxic. But there is a toxic kind of masculinity, right? Mm-hmm. There is a way where men who have basically have no good role models mm-hmm. just decide to perform to try to pretend they're Conan the Barbarian or something like yeah. that. And it's very silly. Just toxic stupidity. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. It just but always looks like you're yeah. overcompensating for something. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, if, I mean, I, I sort of almost reject this concept of toxic masculinity because I feel like it needlessly genders... Because you a have behavior. it. Because I have. Do, am I toxically <laughs> I masculine? I don't know, but I feel like... What, what, I think how do you really feel? I feel like there's definitely is toxic masculinity. I don't think all masculinity is oh. bad. Can I, can there I are say? good... There is Go ahead, good... Victoria. Yeah, I mean, some people tell me that you kind of like blame women a lot. It's like you oh, put wow, like okay. a this lot of therapy that's session. like toxic masculinity mm-hmm. where you kind of I blame. What do yeah, I blame you blame women. women. Well, for like problems. you have this like yeah. I I don't blame women for my. It's problems. like you tell their lie. <laughs> you kind of create this image that women are like bad, it. and you <laughs> continuously put it out there for young men to like be like, oh, I don't want to get married. Like I will just date women for like as long as I want. Why not? Do you, that you don't want to get married? No. Not no. No. What, why not? Uh oh. All right. Oh, yeah. 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 What? Let's One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. One v seven. Okay. Um, well, so I, I'm not opposed to necessarily having a life partner, but there there are <laughs> there are certain. Sorry, I'm sorry, Michael. There are certain realities when it comes to to marriage that, from the male perspective, make it seem. Uh, risky. Oh, only from the male perspective? Because I can feel like well, it's also risky from the female the, perspective. W- how so? I think you've never been in love. I feel like... I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if or you're thinking about risk factor, I feel like it goes both ways. Yeah. Okay, like they're turning on me. <laughs> well, it's... But, but to your point, Brian, you... You know, you make a good amount of money. You, the way the judicial system works, if a woman divorced you, she could take a bunch of your money. She could take your kids. So there's a risk. But my question is, if you're already going to have a life partner, which mm-hmm. sounds, I'm sorry to say, kind of gay. Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not gendered. Gay. It's not traditional. Thank you for it, saying that. It's just, so I, if you're going to do that anyway, why, and, but you want to protect against divorce, mm-hmm. why not just marry a woman who's not going to get divorced? Well, or get a prenup. I, you know the yeah, thing. Yeah, literally. So, so you you're saying like, well, if you find the the a great woman that you know that's no, just not even just that. I'm saying because you, you know you could find the most wonderful woman in the mm-hmm. world, and then I don't know someday something goes off in her brain and she totally turns on you. But what if you create the structures such that you're not going to get divorced? I'll give you an example. I'm Catholic. My wife and I cannot get divorced. She could murder me. That would be her way out of the marriage. Mm-hmm. But she, we can. It is not possible for us to get divorced. Now, if you, let's say you're not Catholic yet, and maybe you don't, you know, you, ha- you haven't worked through these things, maybe... You Wait, s- did you say yet? <laughs> well, I'm, Are you just, just talking. <laughs> and okay. so, uh, I'm saying, what if before you get married, you sign a prenup, but not the yeah. kind of prenup now, not the kind of prenup where you say, okay, in case we get divorced, mm-hmm. you know, we get 50-50. Ah. What if you sign a prenup that says, if you divorce I me... I will kill who, you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Whoever brings the divorce forfeits everything. That's called. That's the Knowles prenup, and then you're and then you're safe. She's not going to take your kids. She's not going to take your money, and you get to be married sure. and not have a life partner. Sure. I mean, I've, I, I'd love to bring on like, uh, a family attorney to ask him questions about this, but kind of what I've heard in my understanding when it comes to prenuptial agreements is that oftentimes they they can be thrown out, and they don't. I, I don't think prenups can apply to uh, post marriage. So you can protect your assets that you've um, acquired pre marriage. I could be totally off base here, but I've heard prenups can get thrown out. Someone could say, oh, I was signed it under duress, blah, blah, blah. It's unfair. It's, um, there's a specific term for it that's uh, evading me right now. It's, um, but is that why you don't want to get married? Because you're afraid of the divorce, potentially? Or? Afraid of women. Why not just date a <laughs> successful woman? Do you have not trust issues, it. Ryan? Well, this, uh, yeah. It sounds like, it sounds like you yeah. have trust pile, issues. Pile it's just on. Michael and the girls pile. here. I'm <laughs> intervening with you, Brian. Um, like if you date another successful <laughs> woman... Wouldn't that fear kind of disappear? Because then, if anything, it's like you know she yeah, could be scared of uh-huh. your. What if she's if more you successful than money you? Or something what if she's like making that? more money than you are? Yeah. yeah, like why are we assuming also, that you're the breadwinner? You want a wife, right? I mean, I'm, you you want to uh, not apparently you know. not. Maybe he wants to be. Well, a he wants a life partner, like, Mike. Yeah. He wants <laughs> a life partner. Yeah, well, you're right. Okay, he wants maybe a dog. that does sound. <laughs> you know, you know what's big now is virtual virtual girlfriends, virtual wives. It's it's a thing now. Like this one. You get an AI one. Or, or, or just be a you know he wants a dog yeah. that speaks future, English. Yeah. But she can take all the 
oh, and sure. that he wouldn't but get in trouble like for. But it's like a thing in the future now. You can have a virtual it's like an AI, but it will <laughs> interact with you. Yeah, your love life here, like, yeah. 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 like Siri. Why aren't you just put all your faith into us, and happen. we can figure it out? For yeah, you. we'll figure out all your love. We life really want to get to the root of this problem. Yeah, I, I just, I. I don't see the the benefit. Don't. Uh, well, uh, this is why I ask. Don't you want a wife? Of having it's a like, companion. There, I can have a companion and not be married. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of the government, so I don't want the government involved in my love. But affairs. if you, you live with children? someone more than ten years, you're gonna be it's legally gonna be married. Legally. It's common not, law marriage anyway. Well, not that's only some states. Not all states have common law marriage. California. We do. I don't we know do. how long. No, California does not have common law marriage. Yeah, we but, do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, my yeah. parents are by that. No, not that's California. The only I'm pretty sure California is not common law marriage. Yeah, no. That's yeah, the only reason why my mom is still my dad. Google so. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll do common law marriage. They're legally states, married we'll, by we'll the state, up. but they've never um, been. They haven't been dating since 2001. So they okay, for one here: year. Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, and DC. Those are the only, uh, according to this. Sterling Lawyers. You're a very quick com. Google search. <laughs> Your uh, two second search. So I, yeah, it's, I think it's a minority of states that have common law marriage. But yes, that is a risk factor in those states. If, if you are cohabitating with somebody and you almost treat your relationship as if you're married, then you are basically, in the eyes of the law, you are married. Uh, luckily in California, which I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here, um, I'm probably going to get canceled by proxy because Michael's on the show, but um, <laughs> uh, just kidding. But <laughs> Maybe uh, kidding. I don't know. You probably uh, the franchise tax board is going to come and evict you. Probably. Oh, geez. Scary stuff. Um, so I, I don't have anything against for other people. I, that's great. I just, I've sort of looked at the, the numbers. I've done the calculus and it just, to me, it seems like here, I'll put the math here. here I've, done, I've done the math, you know, 50% of marriages end in divorce and it, I, the stats I've seen, 80% of divorces are initiated by women. And so when I say it, yeah. it's bad for the man, divor um, the, the negative consequences of divorce typically tend to disproportionately impact men. They can impact women, but I mean, I think 97% of, it's like 97% of al alimony payments go from men to women. So there, there are some concerns there financially, and then just you have the government involved and then it can be quite contentious. And then not only is there the consideration in terms of splitting your assets, but then you have lawyers involved. And, mm -hmm. and I, I don't have anything necessarily wrong, perhaps from a religious perspective with marriage, but when the state's involved, and I think we ought to perhaps rewrite marriage laws to perhaps incentivize men to get married again because you have no-fault divorce. Yeah. And yeah. Um, uh, what's the other thing? And then... Um, you know, your wife could cheat on you and then take half your shit. I think under certain circumstances, if you can prove it in, in a courtroom, that perhaps you shouldn't be on the hook for alimony if there's been some infidelity, for example. You're saying That's so that you could dump support. your wife if she cheats on you? Yes, without any <laughs> Brian, financial... Brian, who hurt you? Most prenups <laughs> yeah. like, okay. okay. Let me ask like, you a question, I feel like you're though. always yeah. worried about, like, something going to happen bad. Like, why don't you just... Like, you have no trust and faith in this But I think women. it's the society I mean, we live in now. Well, let, let me ask so you a question. Also, like, let, let me ask you a question. So how many people get married and they think, hey, this is the person I love. We're going to be together mm -hmm. forever. And then you, you hear that divorce rate. It's like 50% of marriages end in divorce. I think when people get married very young, right? When but isn't that the best time to get married? Not mm -hmm. necessarily. Well, my really thoughts on that. Some of the, well, well, I, you're, I, you're like I an didn't exception. Get, I didn't get married young, though. I've only been married now about five years. Yeah. But I, I should have gotten married younger. It's one of my quasi regrets in life. Mm -hmm. But some of the best marriages I've ever seen were people who got married 20 years old or 22 mm -hmm. or 23 years old. I just wonder, Brian, if because sure. all the objections you're raising are completely legit. Sure, sure. I just wonder if y you you are looking at an alternative mm -hmm. that doesn't really exist. That's illusory. Because if you if you're thinking, okay, I'm going to have more freedom if I don't get married. I don't, I don't know if that's true. You know, If you're always in one of these situations, even if you're just dating, where mm -hmm. you think, well, where are we? Where do we stand? Is he going to leave me? Is this, that? Is that? In a marriage, in a proper marriage, all that is gone. And so you think, I had a bad day. I got in a fight with my wife. Mm -hmm. I didn't do the laundry, whatever. doesn't matter, especially if you believe in marriage like marriage really is. You say this is an institution defined by real things. I made a covenant before God and the political community. I signed up with the government. They're going to take my money if I break this covenant. And that actually, it seems like it puts limitations on you. But mm -hmm. it actually gives you a ton of freedom. Because mm -hmm. you can think, oh, 
I'm here. We're in this. There's no, mm. there's no getting out. 100% there's no way agree. up and through, and so we're just going to make this thing work. It, I, I find it's a very freeing experience. Yeah. What if you also meet someone and she's like, "I want to get married," and you're in love with this girl? What you, is it a deal breaker for you? <laughs> I have not crossed that, uh, <laughs> hasn't found that, girl that yet. road yet, yeah. but um, I don't know. I, I mean, my, my thinking on this is, is just you should never sign a contract with someone who's rewarded for breaking it. And in today's day and age, oftentimes, if you break the marriage contract, you, there are certain financial benefits that you can reap. But you can so. go get married in another country, and then you don't have to Passport bros, we up. Mm. Uh, I think Japan, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what's happening in Japan? Because women can't find, there's not enough guys. So there's a thing where they have one woman wedding because all these girls want to get married. Oh. Tokyo, so here so I so come. To you know what, Michael? You've convinced me <laughs> to get married. In <laughs> fact, Eric, if you can hide this, um, Tatum. What? Oh, oh gosh. Wow. You pull it out. Will you marry me, Taylor? Where'd you just get that from? (laughs) Like, last time you reached for it, you just had that ready. I had it ready. He knew you were coming. He already knew. Tatum, will you marry me? (laughs) Yeah. Okay, put it. it, All right. Thank you, Michael. You're the best wingman okay. ever. Congratulations, and, man. That's and great. And Brian, I will be divorcing you at the end of this podcast. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. All right. Can, can you do a little uh, Beyonce? Oh, all right. Okay. Look at that. Nice. For the people in the back. Mm-hmm. All right. Tatum Atlas. Okay, cool. Um, oh, Tatum Atlas. What? <laughs> what? What's she's, her last she's name? She's keeping the last name. Wait, are we hyphenating? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> They're both uh, going to know. You're not going to keep your last name. But then our family's name runs out. Yeah, there's two girls. Only two girls? Yeah. Only well, two girls. Well, that's the way things shake out, right? I mean, your, your family's name is either going to be your husband's name or your father's name. Why? Because that's what your last huh? name is. 